Hey all, thank you for joining me today. In this video, I'll be making the Clone Trooper Star Wars helmet found on DL3D. I'll be using black and white PLA filament supplied by today's sponsor, Chitu Systems. Chitu Systems have supplied me all the filament I need for this project. Check out their website for all your 3D printing needs, whether it be resins, filaments, resin dryers, machines, motherboards, AC film. They do it all from all the biggest manufacturers. Thank you, Chitu Systems, for sponsoring this video. Use the link in the description below as it doesn't only help me out, but it doesn't cost you anything more. Now let's go! Now I'm just removing the supports off the prints and this was a super satisfying process. This print took about 20 hours to print using a 0.2 millimeter layer height and just using the wonderful Chitty Systems white and black PLA. Um, like I said, I found this file on DL3D. It's one of their free files, so check them out as well. But yeah, I, I'm a Star Wars fan. Wouldn't say I'm the biggest in the world, but I do like it. I've seen the original trilogy, second and third. Let me know in the comment which trilogy is your favorite. Mine's the first, of course, Return of the Jedi, can't be it, best one of them not. But outside of that, back to the print. Yeah, it was really good and really lovely to print. It wasn't too much fuss, it was just, yeah, besides the beginning bit, where you may see in the intro video, there was a little bit of spaghetti mess and the print fell like 90% of the way, but it still continued. I just let it print to see what happened and it, luckily it did, there wasn't too much issues. Um, but going back to the finish of this, usually when you watch my videos, I'll print an object, stick it, glue it, sand it, do my gamma shots and you can see what it looks like untouched this is what the print looks like straight off the bread but this time i really want to do something different i want to sort of finish it shine it up paint it and that's exactly what i'm going to do so stick around to near the end of the video where you can watch me sort of practice my skills in sort of finishing off a helmet and see what it looks like Now here's that spaghetti mess print. As you can see, it looks so terrible, but it actually printed fine. There was a little bit of what's this layer shift or a little bit of scuff material as you can, you're gonna see in a moment, but I'm gonna sign off. But other than that, it printed absolutely perfectly. In a minute, I'm about to remove this horrible mess and it was a nightmare to remove. This video will be sped up because you don't want to watch me for 15 minutes trying to remove a bit of plastic off another bit of plastic. But with that being said and done, I will let you crack on with the rest of the video. And once again, to every single one of you, thank you so much for supporting this channel. Thank you for liking, for commenting, just for watching and for being there. It truly means the world to me. Um, and yeah, I'm glad I can do this. So thank you.
now we've got to the signing my favorite part about 3d printing i generally do like sanding a bit of 3d print um as well as that sounds so yeah i'm using a medium grit sandpaper i couldn't find my usual pack of sandpaper so i had to quickly rush to harvest store as it is boxing day when filming this and buy whatever they had and this is what they had um i'm sanding it down quite smoothly and far i.e i don't want to go too deep because one i couldn't find my primer slash filler paint to finish his fat helmet off um, i've only got the spray paint and yeah i just don't want to expose it in fill and damage it or make it weaker um but do let me know in the comments if you do want to see more finished fills i you want to see me add paints decorate and design a bit more detail onto the finished product or you just like to see them in their raw form like i've done up until this point now um let me know in the comments what you think and yeah we'll see how the next couple of videos goes but with all that being said and done i will let you watch the rest of the video and i'll catch up with you in a bit Now this is the exciting bit for painting. Um, I'm just doing layer by layer, building up as I go along. Don't want to put too much in one go so it builds up in drips. Um, in this video, you'll see me do one, maybe I think two layers, but I do end up doing four layers in total of spraying um, just so I can get that clarity. Well, I hope I do anyway. Let me know in the comments what you think about my spray paint job and if it's worth it. Um, but yeah, I'll leave you to the rest of the video. Now let's build this helmet. I'm just using super glue now. I was considering heat welding it, but I got too lazy and I didn't want to have to re-sand and spray paint it all again. So I'm just gonna use super glue and it worked out fine. Um, yeah, this model came out really good. As you can see, the spray paint is dry now. And yeah, I think it came out all right. You can see a few layer lines, especially in the top, where as most 3D prints, once you get cylindrical parts in the top of it, you see a bit of the rings. But other than that, I think it did come out okay. Just attaching all the pieces now, I'll catch it in the video. Now, yeah, it's almost all assembled. Once again, thank you for Chitty Systems for sponsoring this video. Couldn't have done it without you guys. And a big thank you to all of you watching right now. It has been a pleasure. Well, I hope it has, you watching this video. But with all that said and done, let's get onto the glamour shots slash animation. Let's go! Let's go! 